Hi guys, thanks for tuning in again to our Through the Bible series here at Calvary St. Joe. I'm Pastor Chuck Ryan and am blessed to be in the book of 1 Corinthians with you today. And so, you know, we read a verse that sometimes comes up when you stub your pinky toe on a coffee table in the middle of the night and we say things like, count it all joy, brother, you know, when we're doing the silent dance of pain. Um, when somebody's in a difficult situation, you know, all things work together for good. But the truth is, is that we are grateful for the Corinthian church. We're grateful that they had problems because we have problems. If you've got skin and a pulse, and I know that you do if you're watching this, then you have struggles within your church or it's not a gathering together of human bodies and beings because that's what the church is. And so when Paul writes to, to Corinth, it's interesting or it's an indication of what we see today because human nature does the things that the Corinthians did. So, for example, um, he says in chapter 1 of 1 Corinthians in King James, he says, Now this I say, that every one of you saith, I am of Paul, I am of Apollos, and I of Cephas, and I of Christ. And uh, as a good Jewish lawyer, he says, is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you? And that's written to basically understand, no, Paul wasn't crucified for you. Or were you baptized in the name of Paul? And what was true then is true now, in the year 2020, in that we look at flesh and blood. You know, we will have people that are uh, pastors in our church, and we will divide them. We will fall into a category and we will look at their teaching skills and we will look at how they uh, interact with the sheep, how they conduct their business, um, even to the extent of how are their kids behaved? You know, how is their marriage? And, and we have a right to look at these things, but we don't have a right to divide over these things. And that's exactly what's going on at current Corinth at this time is that when you have a group, the church, the body of Christ, dividing over individuals, it's never God's will, but the biggest impact that it has on those who need to get ministered to, and it's a waste of time. And I guarantee you, you're going to have seasons within a church body where there's going to be somebody who teaches there and you won't like. You're not going to go have pizza with them at lunch or invite them to Worlds of Fun because your personalities don't gel and that's okay. But know this, it's never worth dividing over. Because when it's all said and done, at the end of the day, at the end of this life, it doesn't matter whether or not somebody has a gift in this or that area in order for them to be used by God. And that's what's important, is that we're able to be used. And how much time do we waste? You know, how much time do we uh, uh, spend or uh, elicit, if you will, it's not the word I'm looking for, but how much time do we um, forego when we've got neighbors uh, that are not going to heaven and we've got people uh, close to us that are not getting discipled and they probably walk with one foot in the world and one foot in the church. And these people are all worthy of our time and our attention, just like the Corinthians uh, we're worthy of Paul's time and attention. So get the heart of a shepherd, read 1 Corinthians, get blessed, and really, if you get a chance, meditate on chapter 13. What an incredible chapter, not just for weddings, but for life. So thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time in 2 Corinthians.